Oh, hi, didn't see you there. Janice, looks like I've got a surprise meeting. Hold all my calls, please. Uh, sure, but my name is Jess. Thanks, Sandy. Since you're here, I might as well show you the tutorial I've been working on. Let's take a look. In order to be successful with this tutorial, your recorder will have to be set up with SmartPSS already. If you have not done so, check out a link to one of those guides found in the description at the bottom of the page. The first thing we will need to do is open up SmartPSS. Next, we will need to navigate to Playback. On the left, you should see the default group with your camera system. Once it's loaded, decollap the options and you should see a list of all your cameras. You can select more than one camera to search at once, but for this example, we're just going to select our IPPTZ. Take note of the additional options you see down here. Our first is record type. You can select from a number of different record types, such as motion or intelligence. We're going to leave it set to all records. The stream type should always be left on mainstream for the best quality. This is the calendar option. From here, you can set a start date and start time, and an end date and end time. Though you can choose from any of the days at which you had footage, there is only a maximum 24 hour window time that it can search. For our example, we'll look at yesterday, and we're going to check out the full 24 hour window. Select OK, and when all your parameters are set, click search. When the search is completed, you'll see an indicator here, and that the seek bar is now filled with information. Some might be green, some might be orange, some might be red, to indicate the different types of footage. Pressing play will start the footage from the beginning of the file time selected, and we can click anywhere in the seek bar to choose a different time of day to start playing from. In order to download the footage, the first thing you'll need to do is click the scissor icon you see in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Once clicked, the scissor icon will place two indicators for a start time and end time. We're going to select about 15 minutes of footage starting from right around noon to right around 12.15. Once your time is selected, click the scissor option again. When the scissor is selected, it will bring up a window allowing you to select a folder to download to. We're going to put this on the desktop so that we can find it more easily. Once selected, you can also choose a file format type to export in and simply click OK. The next window will indicate that playback needs to stop in order to download, which is normal. Simply hit OK and you can watch your progress as the download completes. To successfully playback any file exported from any recorder, we highly recommend downloading and extracting the Elite Smart Player found on the SecurityCameraKing.com downloads page. Thanks again for joining us today and learning how to playback and export files from your Elite Recorder using SmartPSS. Till next time, have a great one and stay safe.